hey, just came on here to say I hope you have a good day today. Don't milk any negative thoughts. If something happens, take it in, let it go, and keep on with the flow. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I have a lot to do today. Um, it's the new moon tonight, and I need to get my altar prepared. It needs to be clean and cleansed, and there's just so much. I'm a slack and I'm a slacker. <laughs> so let's get started. Hey. Okay, just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get over here. That's a hair dryer. Oh gosh. I got a lot to do. I'm okay. Huh. Hey. Okay. Let's see. Welcome to my altar. Huh? Huh? Um. I'll be cleaning it. <laughs> okay, so after days, maybe months of neglect, um, I definitely, definitely have to get all that solved because tonight's a new moon. New moon, new beginnings. Definitely ending this crap. I can't. I just can't. I can't. The cars outside are so disrespectful. I swear to goodness. It was silent outside until I started recording. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's a new moon. It's the time for me to clean and cleanse my altar. Hopefully it stays this way after this because you don't you guys don't know how much of an eyesore it has been. Seriously. There is stuff over here that shouldn't even be over here. It's just gathered a lot of clutter and no no we can't so let's get started <laughs> this is what it's looking like yeah 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 there's stuff under there but like that stuff I don't know what to do with <laughs> but this is why I have this and it has shelving under it I'm gonna use that okay so I guess a good place to start is by just picking up everything that's on the floor there's sprinkles First thing I picked up was sprinkles. I wanted to use it for fried Oreos, but I didn't get to, and now we have no more Oreos. I gotta put this in the closet with the hair stuff. I have another one of my scarves. Okay, okay, I'll have much more to clean up after this since I don't, I don't even know where to put any of this stuff. I have too much stuff. Is it possible to have too much stuff? Yes, yes it is. No one of these cats definitely spilled my nail polishes everywhere. I have this whole nail basket. It was tipped over and everything once, and I just never picked it up. But then there's stuff over here, all that nail stuff. <laughs> Found my lost chopstick under the stand. Great. <laughs> now I'm moving this just to see if there's anything under it. <laughs> Plus, I'll have to vacuum under here later. I want to make sure I get every nook and cranny. Might have to move my whole altar. That's going to be a disaster. Uh, found one of my paintings. That's cool. Eraser. So, um, this had parsley in it, but I'm going to use it for my ingredients once I get more. Some art supplies, fortunes. Okay. Bench, I got a whole bunch of stuff here, my pestle and mortar. I actually kept these separate from all my other polishes because these look really pretty and I think I might wanna try them together. Hopefully it works out. I know I always put my jewelry up here because like if I just took it off, I didn't wanna go all the way to the jewelry box, but I have some of my fortunes that I got to put in my jar. I have my eggshells. And when you use eggshells in a spell, it's usually used for protection. I made a protection spell for Bruce. He put it in his car because I'm always afraid when he gets in his car. Because, you know, because I, re I really be worried about him, you know? It's Pittsburgh. Everyone drives around here reckless. Reckless. And sometimes, you know, when he's in his moods too, especially, he he's not very cautious. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? So... 
it's just for him and other people, honestly. <laughs> I have other art supplies here that I just never put away. And of course my books. This one's for dream interpretations because I like doing that, especially when I have really freaky dreams. I do want to make a, uh, I do want to make a, um, some videos about my dreams, especially when I have really crazy ones. These are going in my jar drawer. Jar drawer. Ugh. And I think it would be really cool and then maybe we can interpret dreams together and stuff. Looking at all these fortunes are like really making me crave um, some Asian food. Not gonna lie, that would be amazing right now. Here we go, this is what I was looking for. This is where I keep all my fortunes in. So, I got this jar from Dollar Tree too. Go in, go in, go in. I probably shouldn't be cleaning in these pants just because I have an interview and these are like some of my best looking pants that I have. But since I'm recording a video and I don't want you guys to, you know, see my tush, I gotta put pants on. But I'm taking them right back off once I'm done, trust me. Trust and believe me. <laughs> well, now that this and the floor are cleaned up, I gotta work on this all of this these aliens are for my friend she had an alien party and she was thinking about having them annually and i think that this would be a great a great addition for the next one which one is it they make these really cool sounds come on they're all dead except for here we go I'm gonna put all of these in my tech bin, which is right under my um, jewelry stand. Cause it's the only place where I never put until I give it to her, you know? There's this really cool jar that she got me. Um, it has some Palo Santo in it, but um, I'm gonna use this to make one of my spells and put it in it. Nothing, you know, evil or deadly. I just really like skulls, they're pretty. Especially this. This is super pretty. Do you see the iridescent -ness -ness -ness? <laughs> But I was cleaning it out, you know, it's cleansing, which is why the Palo Santo was in there. After I, you know, I was just... Because <laughs> I suck. There was also this bottle. It had some really disgusting water. Um, it was like sparkling water or some sort, but I like the bottle. So I took the paper off, the label, and I'm going to keep it and put a really cool spell in here. Oh wow, you can barely see that. <laughs> that looks so cool. It's just like, here's the bottom of the bottle. There's no middle. Oh, except for when you do this. Magic. You can see. Did you? Ah! And here's a lid. <laughs> Some hair gel that's not supposed to be over here. But um, this has my cat's hair in it. This has Critter's first tooth that he ever freaking lost. Tell me this is not so freaking adorable so I had to keep it because you know I'm a cat mommy and these of course go in the drawer with all the jars and stuff <laughs> oh would you look at this a mask something y'all should be wearing every single time you go out do you not want COVID like this whole pandemic to just be over don't you want to have fun this summer don't you? Like, I do. I want to have fun. <laughs> Put a mask on. Yeah, that's right, dear Skull. You show them how to do it. That's how you put on a mask right there. That's how you put on a mask right there. <laughs> also, here's some research that I was doing last time I was here. <laughs> I'll get back to that someday. But now I'm going to take everything else that, you know, usually belongs here. I'm going to take it off so I can dust it, salt sweep the soul off and yeah then it's gonna be cleansed and good then I'm gonna sage the area after I vacuum
<laughs> I'm already happy already. Like cleaning, like knowing that this space will be clean already makes me feel so good. I needed this. Like it's been it's been pretty rough. As you guys saw in like my last video, like I just feel like I just needed a good cleansing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think this is one of the reasons people put cloth down on their uh, altars because crap like that gets stuck. The wax is now stuck to my altar, so I gotta scrape it off. Hopefully the paint doesn't come off because I know I did a sucky job painting it. And next I'm gonna put a cloth down. <laughs> Dang, it's stuck. Oh wait, I got it! Whoa! Why cleanse with salt? It deters you know negative bad evil spirits it is it's a really good cleanser you guys we don't want any of no kind of negativity around here no kind of negativity boom i would really love if i had like a nice twig broom like a small one to actually like dust it away that way because like I don't know, something about that just screams yas to me. <laughs> yas. To move this to the other side just so I can really get all the salt off. You really want to make sure you get all the salt off of your area that you're trying to cleanse because what the salt kind of does is it absorbs the negative energy. And what you don't want to do is leave all that negative energy or even like little bits and pieces of it there. You really want to get it all off. That is essential. Essential! I'm a little upset though because, you know, when I picked it up, it, it chipped some of the paint. And so now I just, I mean, it gives it character. I can't be too mad. Oh well. Now that I clen cleansed everything off, I'm going to put everything back on. Yes, I put the papers back up here and my journal that I put all my stuff in. It's not my shadow book. It's just stuff that, I, you know, because I don't I don't have a shadow book yet. This doesn't feel like it's meant to be a shadow book, but I, I keep my witchy research in here. But I'm also going to cleanse my um, crystals and such tonight. And so that when I want to you know, put intentions into them and stuff. And when it comes time to like charge my waters or something with like sun or moon, and, you know, you, you get where I'm coming from. Everything will be perfect. Everything will already be clean. And you won't have to worry because yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I decided that I do not want to make this video way too long. Um, I am going to still cleanse my crystals and I'm going to cleanse my jars so that when I make a uh, potion or a spell, the jars will already already be ready. I mean, I might still give it a little smoky to smoke with the incense or whatever, but until then, I mean, I know everything will be safe and clean. Um, yeah, when I make my video, about cleansing crystals and jars i'm going to tell you because you know you can't clean all crystals the same way you can cleanse them with sun you can cleanse them with moonlight you can cleanse them in water but not all crystals are are good in water or in sunlight or in moonlight so just be safe and do your research but until i make my video or whatever but until then yeah <laughs> Let's cleanse you too.
Ooh, yes, mommy, yes. New and improved. I hope you like video. If you like video, subscribe. <laughs> Please, it would be nice. Maybe give a little like. <sighs> wow, I really do feel good. <laughs>